trying to make, well, I'm trying to make like an electric scooter, an electric bike with a drill. <laughs> so my original concept was basically to attach a wheel onto a drill and let that spin, like attach it down so this is clamped onto the rear wheel, um, which could be what I'm going to do. Um, the only issue with this is on this, it's weird because the sprocket's on the wrong side, so if I was to mount this, it would basically propel the thing backwards if it did work. But with the discovery of this, I'm thinking, would it be easier to mount this adjacent to a bike chain, which is already propelled? That way, it'll just, I'll just attach it in somehow. An electric bike. I'm gonna get the bike out and we're gonna have a wee look, because it might be better. Now this BMX, has been through so much. Right, so this bike I got for £20 off Gumtree and it's been so handy. Like I don't know much about BMX and but it, it kind of looked the part, looked kind of nice and whatnot. And then I ended up adding on this bit here. Now what this is, is essentially my own tow hitch, if you will. This yellow thing was actually the handle off of this, which I cut off as a support here. And then a bolt at the bottom, which I attached like my own trailer onto and stuff like that. Right, I'm glad to come back to this because we we'll always pick up some decking and I didn't realise we're picking up decking today. So I'd empty the back of the van. Oh, Get that off the grass. I attempt to the van. It shouldn't be on my grass. I attempt to the van, there's not enough space. So welcome back to part two of the build, where I actually start the build. I'm thinking about using the scooter only because it'll be better for locating the battery and whatnot because it'll be more centered whereas on the bike it would be i just don't know where i put a car battery and all the rest of it and if i haven't told you already i'm powering this off a car battery okay a bit of an update on the scooter because i haven't really filmed much of it just because i didn't think this was going to work if it was a wasted video Plus, I had to go get drill bits because mine were crap. How satisfying is that? A full set. This is where we're up to. So I've got some L brackets, basically, which I had to drill out to make bolts get through. And then I've got these, like, shim sliders. I don't think you can see them. Which will slide back and forth so I can tension up um, the wheel against the driving wheel. And then this bit of screwed rod, I'll tighten to the wheel really tight and then the chuck of the drill will mount onto here and that I should spin the wheel. In theory, I'm, I'm in the process of lining it all up, making sure it's kind of square. I'll then take the bolts and cut them down to size, the ones that are too long, and then we'll somehow mount the drill. This could be the first test to see if it works. Is this cross beam for the support does hit this tire, so it has to get moved, but I want to see if it still spins. Okay, this time I've grounded down, so it's not round with the 
thread it's basically just like a rectangle so hopefully it grips oh. I've notched out that bit of metal so it can spin freely. <laughs> Why am I so surprised? <laughs> Smells of burning rubber. My head's really sore. Good morning. So last night we took this out for a field test and it wasn't the most successful but eventually it did start going but the tire just wasn't gripping the other tire so that issue we can fix so I'll fix that I'll then sort out the throttle which originally I was, I was using like a brake cable off a bike wasn't the best solution, won't work it will work, but I'm not going to use it I'm going to basically make a switch on the handlebars which will just switch the power on and off wired up. Now I'm no expert so don't ever copy what I do because I don't even know if it's right. But once I get the car battery and inverter that'll go on here and this will plug into it and then you basically got the switch for the drill and then the switch comes under the frame into here and then neutral becomes the live which goes to the drill if that sounds wrong, please comment below or phone me right now before I blow myself up. But it'll be fine, I'm pretty certain that's right. So I'm going to have some breakfast now and then I think I'm doing the decking next. Then I'll come back to this later tonight and we'll try and get it sorted. So we're still in the you know, testing process, so I've temporarily attached the battery on for bungee cord and zip tie and same with the inverter, so I'm going to connect these up, try out the electronics and see if this, see if it works. Alright, so this plug here will go into there, it goes in there, this goes here, and then, there we go, okay. So let's turn the inverter on. It's holding, right? Okay. We just zip tie down the the, the 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 drill. Okay, let's see if it goes this time. Ready? I'm going to load the rear air pressure to see if I can get it to get any motion. Come on! Come on! Come on! Ah. 
well that's all for this little sporadic video i hope you enjoy if you want to see any more projects give it a like and i'll try and build something else out of scraps i've got lying around that cost me nothing that was all with spare stuff because i can't go anywhere all right i'll see you next week goodbye